Hey golf people, as you know, I absolutely love my Bushnell Launch Pro. It is the simulator that I use here in my setup in my studio. And if you've been on the fence about buying yourself a Bushnell Launch Pro, now I think is the time to do it. Between now and the end of the year, there is a sale going on, $500 off. I actually have a link down below from our partners at playbetter.com, but you can save $500, the regular price right now, $39.99. It's now $34.99 with that $500 off. And there's some new features. If you haven't paid attention to some of our other videos, there have been some developments and the licensing I think actually has gotten a little cheaper over time as well. So I'm gonna walk you through the software. We're actually gonna play some simulator golf here today and we're gonna have some fun. All right guys, well, I'm popping into my desk here just to show you a little bit about some of the new software that's available with the Bushnell Launch Pro. I've been using it, testing it, really loving it. This program is FSX Play and when the Bushnell Launch Pro first came out, you didn't have access to FSX Play, but now you do. And here's why that's important. This simulator software is, I would say, 10x better than the normal FSX 2020 app. Now, before it took getting at least a gold level subscription to get some of the club data, swing speed numbers, and some of the advanced data that the Bushnell Launch Pro is capable of. However, Bushnell has taken the step to lower that entry point. So now for a silver subscription at $499 a year, you really have everything you need to run the Bushnell Launch Pro at its peak optimum performance. That comes with five courses now, and there still is a gold level subscription, but in my mind, I'm not so sure you need that anymore unless you want to play with eight players instead of four, and unless you care about having 10 courses instead of five. If you have the silver package, you will have Willow Crest, Teton Pines, which is a good course. You'll have Blue Bayou. You will have Broken Tree, good looking parkland course, and you'll have Linfield National. Now on my screen, I do actually have an unlocked Bushnell Launch Pro. I have access to all 10 of these free courses. But like I said, the difference between those five that I mentioned and all 10, to me, not a huge deal. Listen, I'm a member at a country club. I play it twice a week. I play that course all the time. I don't get bored of it. So <laughs> I don't think I would get bored of simulator courses either. But wait, there's actually more to this story because if you've got a silver subscription, I would highly recommend you look into a piece of software called GS Pro. I will be doing a separate video on GS Pro. But suffice it to say, GS Pro has every course you could possibly imagine playing all of the top courses, Augusta National, the old course, Whistling Straight, Cabot Cliffs, all of these really world-class courses are built into GS Pro. And that software is $299 for the entire lifetime. Or you can get on a subscription plan where you get updates, but for $300, you've got everything. So that's why I would not necessarily worry about getting a gold subscription with the Bushnell Launch Pro. I know Bushnell probably doesn't want me to say that, but I've got your best interests in mind here. So if you do wanna just live in the FSX Play world, which is a very good world, whether you have silver or gold subscription, you can actually buy courses. Now, as you can see, these courses are very expensive. Some of these courses I've never even heard of. Again, they're all real courses, but they are not necessarily uh, clubs you've heard of. Although, here you go, Cabot Cliffs, that's $250 to buy that course. To me, just really, really expensive. The Uber Premium courses, like a Pebble Beach, that sort of thing, those are $500. So again, I personally would not be buying courses within FSX Play. The five that come with the silver subscription, plenty for me. So again, for $4.99, I've got everything. I've got the capability of having a foursome here playing golf in my simulator, which is plenty. Eight would be too many for me. I don't need a, a six hour round personally. Um, I've got the five courses. I've got all the club data that this thing is capable of. It's everything. Okay. So subscription has gotten cheaper over time. And now silver is definitely an entry point I would recommend. You don't necessarily need to go to the gold. Now it's not just about simulator golf, but also this has a very nice range built into it. You can actually go to a practice range. Whatever course you've got installed will have a range option for you. Then we've got games. And this is where 
the Bushnell Launch Pro system is pretty fun. Uh, you've got games that you're actually playing against other online players. You've got closest to the pin, longest drive, which I will not be entering because, <laughs> yeah, I'm a mere mortal. If you are too, hit subscribe. I don't drive it 325 yards. I drive it about 260. <laughs> if, it, if it's a good one, maybe 270. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be competing there. But Close as the Pin is actually a really fun game. We're going to go here to Willow Crest number 18. This is a 177-yard shot. There's 421 players. There are 16 days left to enter this competition. This is actually hole number 18 of this course. Interesting that it ends on a par 3, but hey, that's pretty cool. As you can see, you've got a leaderboard over here to the right. Looks like someone actually has a hole in one. That's going to be very tough to beat. Uh, but if we can get within four feet of this hole basically will be in the top 10, which I'd love to do. I'd love to see Let's Play Through in the top 10. So let's go ahead and join the contest here. I actually don't have my bag in here right now. It's in my car. So I'm going to use the PXG 0211 X-Core 2. It's a beautiful club. I'm going to go six iron here. And you can choose your club selection down there at the bottom. Look at the graphics of this thing. So much improved over FSX 2020. This is really high end, really detailed. On the right hand side of the screen, you see the full overview of this hole, which you got water there on the right and front. You got bunkers front, left and back. This is a very tough pin to get at, but we're just having some fun. All right, so let's see what we can do. First shot coming, I'm kind of cold here, but let's see if we can knock one tight. That one's off to the right. That could be in the water. Look at the mechanics and the engine of this, though. The graphics are incredible. I just hit that 182 yards, by the way. I may need to go to a 7 iron. <laughs> These PXG 0211 X-Core 2s are pretty juiced up clubs. All right. Um, all right, so we just need to straighten that swing out a little bit. Let's see what we can do here on swing two. That's a better swing. Oh boy, that's going at it. That is right at it. Oh! But it's long. It's long. I found the physics engine and the graphics to really create an immersive experience. I don't know if it's the adrenaline, but I've got to go down to a seven iron here now. We got one more chance at it. You've got, this is going to be shot three of three. They give you three chances at this thing. That was almost a slam dunk, guys, but couldn't hold the green there. So we're going to go to a seven iron. If we can take that same swing and land it right on the fringe, it could roll in or close. But I found this physics engine to be really incredible. You can see it's very responsive. Right after I take a swing, boom, the ball's in the air. So there's very little lag with the Bushnell Launch Pro. I'm getting extremely accurate results and uh, absolutely loving this thing. So to get it $500 off, great deal right now. This is the time to do it, like I said. All right, third swing here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I hit that thin, guys. I don't think it's going to get there. I don't think it's going to get there. Ah, well, we're not top 10 of the leaderboard, but that's some fun. Now we're going to play just a couple of holes here of regular simulator golf, just so you can get an idea of how the scoring works, how the gameplay works with this FSX Play software. All right, now we're going to move to an actual simulator round here. So I'm back in the main menu. I can choose the courses that I want to play. And as you can see, I've actually downloaded a couple more here. So we're going to start off we're going to start off with Teton Pines. It's actually a really nice course. And we come to some settings here. So you can choose your tees, black, blue, white, green, or red. I'll go ahead and choose blue. Um, but what's actually nice is you can play irons only or play from the senior tees or whatever you want to do with this thing, which is really nice. Um, left or right-handed, I'm right-handed. My handicap is not 32, it's 5. <laughs> I don't know why it defaults to 32. Uh, but uh, you can see I'm connected to FSX Live, so I'm logged in. So you can actually see me playing this in real time. If we go to the course setup, you can choose the holes you want to play. I'm going to go ahead and just play the first three holes here today. 
I'm just unclicking those ones. We're going to play a par four, par five, par three. You can do stroke play, stable third, modified stable third. We can have match play if we had other people we were playing with. Um, we're going to go with stroke, stroke play. Pin placement can be easy, normal, or difficult. I'll keep it on normal. And green speed, you've got a stint meter here, so it defaults to 10. You can take that down to 5 all the way up to 15, which is insane. Um, we'll, keep it, we'll keep it at 10, okay? That's fine. You can also choose the weather. So I think this is really interesting. You, I'll put on a light wind just to give us a little bit of an idea of what the physics engine of this game can do. But we can also choose altitude. So we can choose our altitude, which somehow is below sea level. I don't think that's correct, but you can do sea level at zero feet, or you can do course level. Now, this course is actually at 1,894 feet. What is that, about a quarter of a mile up in the air? So it might get a little bit more carry. It's not going to be insane, but I usually go with course level. Might as well try to do it with their conditions, but you can also play your own conditions, which is cool. Um, you can tee off at morning, noon, sunset, or night. We'll go ahead and just do noon just because those colors really pop. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. It's going to load, and we are going to be on the first tee here at Teton Pines. There you go. You got a little fly over there. This is an index nine, meaning it's the ninth hardest hole on this course. Looks like it's a little dog leg right. Up here in the right, you can actually kind of see where your normal, typical drive would end up. Um, so this has me at 262, which is very narrow there, honestly. I don't want to hit it that far. And I want to hit it more to the meat of the fairway where it's a little bit more open. So uh, you can see from here, I'm going to have 166 yard shot in. Oh, it keeps moving, but let's see, 169, 170 yard shot there. That's pretty much what I want to do. I want to hit about a 230 shot. So I'm not going to take a real crazy swing at this. We're just going to have a nice, easy driver, hopefully out there. Um, now the wind is behind us and blowing slightly right to left. So maybe I'll actually move this to here just to give us a little bit more room. Um, hopefully I'll push it right into that bunker, but that's a nice overview there. You can see the graphics far superior to FSX 2020. This FSX play is really nice. It's like being on the golf course. You've got the bird noises, all that good stuff. So. Let's see if we can get off the tee with something decent here and uh, play a couple of good holes. Well, I did what I said I didn't want to do. I pushed it a little right. Settle. Oof, I'm in the rough, but it's safe. Just a little 228 yard bunt there. All right, so we've got 157 into the green here. We are in the rough though. All of that is taken into account. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get there with an eight iron, honestly. The wind a little right to left, so I wanna just kinda of aim for the middle of the green here with my draw, should be a good shot. Oh, and you can select the club. So actually it defaulted to seven iron, but I'm going to move that down to an eight iron there. And what I see on my screen is actually what I get because I've configured this room within the Bushnell software to know exactly where the center line is. That's why the center line's off to the right just a little bit because my room is off to the right just a little bit where I have the Launch Pro. That way I can stand in the middle of the room and swing. Um, so basically if I want to aim left of the hole, I aim left of the target. If I want to aim right of the hole, aim right of target. What you see is what you get, which is really cool. All right, let's see if we can hit a solid 80 iron here. I don't think it was super solid. Yeah, it's a little short. And I'm gonna be chipping, which is great, because I wanna show you just how accurate this thing is. To me, the real judge of a launch monitor is just how accurate they can get the chipping and putting. And I'd say this is pretty good, about as good as I've seen. Um, Again, kind of what you see is what you get. It changes the angle of perspective. So if I was standing out on a course, I'm kind of looking at what it would exactly look like. But I do have 54 feet if I want to know the exact amount. And it's eight inches up. But I'll tell you what, like I said, I like to eyeball this. I've got a 58 degree wedge in my hand. Let's see if we can knock it tight. Sit. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
How about that, guys? Just completely eyeballed that one. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I knew when I hit it, that was a good shot. Wow, okay. Well, we're heading to hole number two here. Now we got a par five. I hope I can hit a little better drive than my first drive. And if I don't chip one in, I'll actually show you what putting is like, but that was pretty cool, guys. I love the little nature sounds. I really feel like I'm on the course. All right. Ah, pretty good shot there. Well, hmm, I hooked it. Not so good, I guess. Yikes. All right, 178. We're in trouble, but luckily, one way or the other, this is going to be a three-shot hole, so it doesn't kill me. All right, so we've got 260 yards. I'm going to hit a, uh, like a four iron here, so 185 or so should be perfect. Pretty good. And that should just hopefully get us into range. Didn't kill that shot. <laughs> I hit the right club. I guess I did. Third shot here, we've got 185, so a little longer than I'd like. Again, just checking wind conditions. The wind is left to right for me. It says 185 yards, zero feet down or up, so it's exactly flat. So I just got to hit the number here and hopefully not push it off to the right. You got that bunker there off on the right. I don't want to be in. Decent strike. I'm a little short. I'm in the bunker. That's not what we wanted to do. But the nice thing about <laughs> a bunker here is uh, you're not going to get sandy. You're not going to get sand in the shoes. All right, so we've got 43 feet, a little shorter. I got to get this ball right up in the air quick, though, and hopefully land soft. And I didn't quite make the green there. Didn't quite make the green. I'd say it's in the second cut of rough, so probably still need to chip this thing. That little circle is the gimme area, okay? So if I get inside that circle, I've got myself a gimme. And I'm not. And the reason I did that is because I want to show you what putting is like. And I couldn't do that if I gave myself a gimme. So what you've got here is a grid. As you can see, the screen actually moves depending on the orientation of my ball. So again, that's how cool the physics engine is with this thing. The cup is basically my target. This putt's breaking a little left to right. What you see is what you get in terms of perspective, but it is 16 feet six inches. My screen is nine feet away from me. I've got to go about a screen and a half. It's kind of how I do the calculations in my head. It's down five inches though. So I've also, um, it's also going to pick up speed. So this is something that you get better with over time, but I'm going to put it just a little bit past my screen, just a little left of the hole and let's see what happens. Yeah. Missed it, but it was good for speed, and we've got ourselves a gimme. You can set that gimme to be three feet, six feet. Uh, I've got it at six feet right now, just to give myself a chance. All right, so last hole we're gonna play here is 181 yard par three. It's a long one. I think we'll hit that five iron again. And I'd just love to make the middle of the green, to be quite honest with you. I'm not going to attack that pin with the water on the right. And because of my draw, it's just a tough flag to really go at. So I'll be very happy. Middle of the green here, five iron in hand. Decent strike. It's got to get a little left though. Oh, I missed that green too. <laughs> well, we're 0 for 3 in greens and regulation, guys. This one, I'm going to try to chip it close, though. Settle. Settle. Ooh, that was too much now. That was not on purpose. That was just too heavy. And because I was in the rough, I didn't get a lot of checkup. And again, very accurate in terms of on-course conditions. If I was in the fairway, I would have had a little bit more bite on that ball. But because I was in the second cut of rough, not as much. This putt, 17 feet down two inches. It's a little right to left, gonna break towards the water. 
I got to go basically almost two screens worth because again nine feet for me to that screen. Let's see if we can put a nice stroke on it. Not enough I don't think. Well it did get there. Okay good. All right we got ourselves a gimme. There you go guys. That's the simulation features out of this FSX Play. Again super powerful system. I'm absolutely loving it. Right now the opportunity to get this thing for $34.99 to me is something I would leap on if you are on the fence. Again, I've got a link down in the description to playbetter.com so you can do that. Also explore that GS Pro software I told you about. That is going to open you up to a whole new world of golf courses. You gotta be a little bit techy for that. Um, but get started with the silver subscription. I think you're going to love it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Thrill.